Hey guys, what's up? My name is Jamie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you guys what's in my school bag. So yes, you heard it right. What's in my school bag because I just started going back to school again. I'm currently taking my master's and I can't wait to tell you guys about it. So if you guys are curious, then just keep on watching. So pagpasensyahan nyo na guys if may narinig kayo nagkakaro okay sa background because my neighbor, may pinagdadaanan siya guys. <laughs> so first, I'm gonna show you guys what my bag is. My bag is a black, large, long champ bag. I'm not exactly sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Long champ, long champ. But yes, in the Philippines, we call it long champ. It's just a plain old black bag that my auntie gave me as a gift two years ago. I'm not exactly good with taking care of bags, so I never really buy designer bags. If you guys ever see me wearing a designer bag on my Instagram photos or maybe in one of my videos, guys, I never buy designer bags. They're all just gifts. <laughs> I like this bag because you can put so much stuff inside, especially on the days that I have to bring readings or my very, very large accounting book. Also, I like that it has a very long strap, so it's just so easy to put on your shoulder and you can just open it up like that if you want to dump something inside. The school that I go to is the Ateneo Professional Schools and it's right beside Rockwell. So sometimes I pass by the mall and when I buy stuff, I just put it inside my bag so I don't have to hold it. So that's pretty handy as well if I ever need to go to the bookstore and buy some yellow pad paper. It's so easy to bring it there rather than bring a paper bag. You guys get the picture. So now let's get into the contents of the bag. I'm just gonna put this on the floor because it's a little bit heavy. So the first thing that I took out of my bag is this green plastic folder. No special reason why it's green, it's just your standard see-through plastic folder. What I have inside are my notes and my handouts. This is my homework, guys. My accounting homework that I'm really having difficulty answering. And inside, I also have this green Muji pen. I think I just put it inside because I was in a hurry. And I have a green pen with me because I like to highlight notes and I like to use a different color of pen when I'm making corrections. The next thing that I took out of my bag is my Muji planner. So this is my 2018 Muji planner. I like that it's very simple. It has such a simple layout. It's so easy to get rid of once the year is over. I'm the type of person who does not keep planners at all. I used to be the type of person to make planners like my scrapbook. However, I noticed that over time, I never really have any use for them. I don't really go back to the planners to see the memories and try to reminisce. So it's just really added waste to my bedroom. So I don't think there's really no point in me spending so much money on a planner when I'm just gonna get rid of it at the end of the year. This is less than 1,000 pesos. It's very affordable and you don't need to drink a shit ton of coffee just to get it. Next thing in my bag is my pencil case. This blue bag used to be the pouch for my makeup kit, but I've been switching around my makeup kits lately, and now I made this my pencil case. Inside my pencil case, you will find a card holder for my business cards, my passbook for the bank, just in case there's an emergency and I need to go to the bank and get some money. I have my tiny pink calculator, just in case I need to do some business or any calculations for accounting or math class. Then I have my mechanical pencil. I really like mechanical pencils because they don't really um, draw inside your bag. Then I have my pink headphones. They're very inexpensive, only from Miniso. I have a black Muji pen. This is a ballpoint pen, not a gel pen. I just really like Muji products a lot, guys. Siguro masasabi niya ng luho ko na yon. I have a yellow highlighter because yellow just helps me study better. I have another black Muji pen. This is a gel pen. I I have a correction tape. I have a tiny stapler which I've had since I was in high school. I have a few paper clips with me just in case I need to put some files together. And last but not the least, I have a USB just in case of emergencies. So yeah, I like to keep them all in one pouch so that it's neat and tidy and it doesn't really toss and turn inside my bag. Next thing in my bag is my Kikai kit. and. Over time, my Kikai kit just gets tinier and tinier. 
I guess it's because I've invested more on my skincare rather than makeup lately and my skin has just been very good to me so I wear less and less makeup. So that's probably also why you guys haven't really seen me post another video because I'm running out of ideas on what makeup look to do next because I've already lessened the days that I've put on makeup. So inside my bag you're gonna find brush picks. An essential for people with braces. Next, I have a facial spray from VN. It's a face mist and toner. It, this is a local brand. I'll have their Instagram link down below if you guys want to check them out. I also have this perfume from Fragonard when I went to Paris. I have a concealer. This is the Revlon Color Stay Concealer. I have breath strips from Watson's because I hate it when I have bad breath, especially since I'm a coffee addict. I have toothpaste and I have a toothbrush. I guess one thing you guys should know about me, I hate it when my tongue is very dirty. Like, I really feel gross. Like, sobrang kadire to the maximum feeling ko. Next thing in my bag is this cheek stain from blush and kiss potion sorry next is this cheek stain from exceptional cosmetics again this is a local product so i'll have their instagram link down below this is one of my favorite cheek stains now it's super inexpensive and sobrang pigmented nya. and this is my favorite shade this is in the shade seduction i have a new lip balm and i'm in the stage right now where i just collect lip balms so i'm using this raw sun balm so it has spf to protect your lips as well for, of course from the sun and i like this lip balm because it's not really that sticky but the con about it is parang medyo grainy siya on the lips next thing in my makeup kit is a hair tie with two hairpins you never know when you need it and of course girly things i have one panty liner yeah i think that's about it the next thing in my bag is my radley wallet i really like this because it feels super smooth like butter still guys i always have a pack of baby wipes because there's no tissue paper in my school so i always need to have this with me and also i have a hand sanitizer this is also from a local brand called dream essentials it's lavender peppermint when it gets really cold in class i have this blue rabbit printed shawl this was a gift to me from my mom when we were in europe last year we're almost to the end the next thing on my bag is this key holder i like to put my keys in this key holder to prevent my stuff from being scratched especially my phone or my wallet and last but not the least i have my phones with me so i have my old iphone 6 plus and the thing is i've switched from iphone to android because i broke my phone screen and dude i just can't afford to buy another iphone so i got a huawei nova 2i i think it's more affordable and i pretty much don't really care anymore about the features because when it comes to taking photos i would really rather take photos with my samsung camera or my panasonic lumix so yeah that's about it there's nothing left in my bag so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up if you did also make sure to subscribe to my channel because i try to upload videos as often as i can and as always i will see you guys in the next video bye